Alrighty, welcome back to another video of the slow. <laughs> cool. Um, so just wanted to do a little video to talk about my recent, I guess, writing. Um, I've been writing a lot, especially this one right here. I've been writing this one a lot. Uh, I've taken it to the track like literally three times in a row. Three times in a row, meaning I wrote Saturday, Sunday, the week before, and then wrote Sunday the week after. So it was three track days in a row. Same track, Chuck Walla, Saturday, Sunday, and then Sunday on this bike. So a couple things. I just wanted to talk about how the bike performed at Chuck Walla. It's a fun bike. Um, again, like the 200 platform, the 660 platform. It's just a fun bike like it's slow it's not a fast bike but it's a fun one meaning it has torque it has uh grunt it's nimble and it has linear to power band but not like high power um performance like this one like the r6 uh got my ass kicked by a bunch of r6s bunch of leaders and whatnot so to quickly talk about the bike um let's talk about tires since the tires getting worked on so anyways um i took the tuono as is meaning i took the stock rosso corsas uh, which is over here it's this one right here this and this i believe is it yeah i think so anyways um this was a stock rosso corsa 2 pirelli's super sticky stuff dual or tri triple is it triple or dual i don't remember anyways it has multiple compounds so essentially this side the, the edge right here is they call it what is it black carbon or something the material that's used uh to create grip pretty much for all your tires if you were to have slicks like this, this is entirely black carbon, whereas this one is just partially um, where the edge is, is black carbon and rest is like silica, silicone, whatever you call it, um, the harder material. Uh, this tire was fine. I uh, rode Saturday, Sunday with it. I want to say intermediate pace for those for that weekend because again, it was a shakedown. I pretty much used the edge all the way of the stock tire. Uh, this is a 180-55 profile, whereas typical slicks are 180-60 and other um, more performative tires it's even like that one super corsa um that's that's an sp i believe uh 180 60. i'm a huge fan of profile like taller profile 180 60s i've been using that on my past bikes that's what i'm used to therefore um i am putting that back instead of the rosa corsa 2s i'm probably gonna sell the rosa corsa 2 it has tremendous amount of life so yeah the bike is good and it's fun and speaking of tires and doing the actual tire swaps, I'm doing it myself using this system, the Rabaconda system. So I wanna talk about this tire changer. This is a game changer for sure. Ha, no pun intended. However, there are a couple things where you could, I guess the company itself can make improvements on. Um, I wanna say the, where is it? The duck head. So I'm having, I, I saw like the weak point of this product is that the duck kit itself is not as firm so it already cracked right here as you can see it's getting gouges here already and i believe even this side had like a little hairline crack but other than that the duck head um seems to be the weakest point other than that everything else is perfect like perfect meaning that there's no flaws or problems with it um the bead breaker this is a gnarly or nifty i want to say idea uh, in terms of the construction um yeah it's just a quality built tire changer that you can do at home uh, i want to say realistic usage experience one tire let's just say rear if everything just falls in line no problems no extra tools nothing else is needed i could do this on my own within maybe 15 minutes the ad says three minutes yes three minutes in their ads but it's three minutes if you're like the owner probably right because you know this thing you know how to use it you know the ins and outs whereas myself i'm still new to it this is my second set because first set um i put the slicks on myself and then second set now i'm putting putting back uh pretty much street tires onto the two on so that i could go back to doing uh hybrid duties versus the r6 will now be the dedicated track by with the slicks yeah, 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 yeah. anyways um yeah, so Rabaconda, that's one. So one thing I want to call out is is the duck head being a bit fragile. It can be stronger, I think it could be improved. But yeah, that's one. Second part is is it's really up to me or it's dependent on me. It's my fault 
they say it on their website i honestly didn't read it but i don't think 99 percent of americans read text anyways especially if they're longer than five words so you see this right here this little spindle rod i mean it's technically an axle because you know it's going through the um the wheel so you have to know the axle size of your wheels before you buy this kit so for me i have an aprilia i have an r6 and a bunch of other mini bikes the aprilia the rear wheel works fine as you can see the axle goes through the wheels perfect fit um it's so perfect that i don't even have to use a little spacer like you know um thingamajigger that rob condescends but anywho contrary to the rear side now the front so as you can see the rear axle is already like a perfect flush fit the front is actually smaller in size so the axle hole and the axle itself is smaller than this which is i guess this this probably fits for most japanese bikes because this seemed like the universal size that they were using whereas this one it's smaller so aprilia i don't know if it's an aprilia thing maybe other bikes too but uses a smaller axle therefore i had to order a smaller rod or axle rod that goes into the tire machine for the front wheel so for this aprilia when i did the front tire i tried to do it with what i had using like the actual axle i also had like I can't find it, but I had another like, I want to say a rod, try to fit it. I was able to actually uninstall the tire, the stock tire, the Russell Corsa 2 off the front. However, since the axle did not fit perfectly, and I couldn't have like a perfect leverage and spinning motion when I was putting on the wheel, the front wouldn't go on even though they're slicks and they're soft. So I actually had to go to a shop next door. So I went to the shop next door. I asked them to literally just mount the front wheel, front tire, that's it. The old tire was already off. It was just an empty rim. Took the slick and I asked them to slap it on. They wanted to charge me 30, but actually, I actually tipped them 50 because I went towards like the end of the day and they already had shitload of stuff to do. And when I called, I mean, I was asking for a quick drop off and a quick pickup, meaning like literally swing by, get it mounted and then just be on my way. But the guy who answered the phone miscommunicated and thought that I was going to drop it off and then come back and pick it up at the end of the day. But that wasn't the case because I had to leave for Chuckwalla within an hour. So then I explained the whole situation. The manager came out and he pretty much took the wheel and the tire to the back and told the mechanic like do the job now that's why i gave i tipped them 20 dollars more and just paid 50 bucks for a tire swap on the front anyways uh waiting for the front rod for the front tire however the rear one um again i'm having trouble putting it on because i need the drop center uh tool which is essentially a lock that locks onto that locks the bead to the rim while the the duck head spins around and you know pushes the tire onto the rim i'm having trouble especially with this road tire it's so stiff i could wrap it with warmers but i'm just lazy i did actually pull the generator out thinking about it but i don't want to do it i'm just gonna wait for the drop center tool it's coming in today so once that comes in i could you know boom lock it lock it spin it and get slapped on um hopefully the front axle that fits the aprilia wheel comes in and i could just do the front and this bike will be good with super corsa uh sps still sticky tires but um it can do a dual purpose i could ride road and track versus slicks i mean just stuck to this to this track um as much as i want to you know just ride this on the track at the same time i want to baby it therefore the r6 is perfect for that so yeah just uh, you know i just want to do like a little quick housekeeping update you know show you what's up how the bike performed the new tool i got and yeah for the next content, I want to say content, meaning track day probably, like actual big track day, is going to be at Streets of Willow on the 24th. Streets of Willow, um, I'm probably going to take the R6 again. I'm trying to save or baby the uh, the Tuono. I've ridden it at the track now four times in total. So yeah, um, I know what it does at the track. So so yeah, so the Tuono, I had enough fun. I think it's time that I give love back to the R6. So the R6 has been sitting for probably a year since I last rode it. The battery was dead and I ended up getting a new battery. So voila. And I bet you everybody's like, start the bike, start the bike. So here it is. Cool. So if you have any questions in regards to the Aprilia uh, 21660 factory or even I guess any 660 platform because I've done a lot of work to it and I'm I 
I guess I want to say I understand the bike a bit. Uh, if you have any questions about the Rabaconda, obviously I'm not going to do an instructional video because there's so many out there and all the pros and owners of the company have done thorough jobs and great jobs of you know coming out with how to use this tool so nothing i'm not going to show you that but if you have questions like actual like practical usage questions let me know i may be able to help if you have questions about the r6 any mini moto super moto whatever it is let me know cool so one extra note so while i have the view off i was inspecting just my swing arm and notice how disgusting the inside of the swing arm is so this is probably a good chance for you to actually clean your swing arm when you're doing tire swaps. Just want to share this pro tip. So again, um, use kerosene. This is kerosene in a bottle. I bought kerosene by the gallon for like 20 bucks, which is going to last me like forever. Um, look, you can already see it. So I, I spray kerosene, which is perfect for chain cleaning and pretty much any kind of cleaning uh, when it, where it has grease. You should use kerosene. Cool.